Oh, hello. How are you doing? I've just gotten off work and decided to do a little comtage, as we like to say over here in Michigan. Comtage, you know, the screen recording application, the thing that allows you to make a movie of what you're doing on the screen. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I hope so, though, because I'm going to need it to show you how to customize your OS X icons. That's right. We're going to learn how to customize our folder icons on Mac OS X, and we'll do it by recording the screen with some Camtasia. So let's not waste any more time and get started. See you then. Cheerio. We're going to customize our icons, and in order to do that, we have to have some bitmap data on the clipboard. So we're going to use an image capture utility called Snagit, and it's just this little guy running up here in the corner, right here as a service. And I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut to go ahead and launch its capture utility. I'll get these crosshairs, which is a selection mechanism, and I'll just go ahead and select anything I see on the screen that I want to use as an icon. So in this case, I've got this, this image open in preview. I've selected it using uh, Snagit, and I'm just going to go ahead and Command C to copy that bitmap data that we just captured to the clipboard. I'm going to go ahead and close this, and then I'm going to select a folder that I'd like to customize. Now I'm going to go ahead and context click and choose Get Info. I could have used Command I as well. And I'll come up to the upper left hand corner and select the folder icon up there. Now what I'll do is I'll Command V and I'll paste that bitmap data that we captured using Snagit into that custom icon right there. So you can see that it updates the previews. Now this folder has this flash icon when I double click on it and it'll remain like that. If you reboot that folder icon will be there. Now let's say you wanted to roll back. You didn't want this anymore. What you would do is you'd come over to an existing folder icon. You go ahead and command C to copy that folder icons bitmap data and then we'll come back. I'm going to hit Command I here to open up the Get Info Preferences. I'll select that icon up in the upper left hand corner and I'll go ahead and Command V and you can see just like that I've replaced that custom icon with the traditional folder icon. So really simple to do folders. Now one of the fun things you can do is you can also do hard drives as well. So I've got these removable drives I've got attached. This is a FireWire drive and I'm just going to go ahead and open up a web page that's got an icon. Let's just say, you know what, this drive is going to have everything I love on it. So I've got a nice little picture of a heart and I'm going to go ahead and fire up Snagit. I'll go ahead and select the area I'd like to capture. Okay, I'm going to hit Command C to copy that bitmap data to the clipboard. We'll close the Snagit editor here and we'll go ahead and just paste that into the preferences here. So I'm going to select the drive in the upper hand, left hand corner and I'm going to go ahead and hit Command V to paste and you can see just like that that drive has been updated. Again, anytime I remove this drive or attach it it's going to use that icon. It's going to know that this heart icon is associated with that drive. Now, Snagit's not the only application you can use to get bitmap data on your clipboard. You can actually use Preview to do this as well. So here I've got an image in a folder here and I'm going to go ahead and open it in preview. You can see there's a mountain. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I've got the select tool which is this little uh, little crosshairs guy and I'm going to go ahead and select the area of the image that I'd like as bitmap data. That looks about right and I'm going to go ahead and command C to copy that to the clipboard and then we're going to come back over here we're going to find that Annapurna drive, and this time that was actually a picture of Annapurna. I'm going to go ahead and Command I to get info. I'm going to click on the upper left hand corner, and I'm going to go ahead and paste. And you can see in this particular case now, I've got Annapurna the mountain showing up on the drive. Okay, last but not least, you can also use Jing, which is a lightweight screen capture, screen recording utility that TechSmith makes that's also free. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a keyboard shortcut. This is Jing running up here as a service here. I'm gonna go ahead and launch it with the keyboard shortcut. I get the familiar TechSmith crosshairs. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select this little image right here. Once I've got that area selected, I'm gonna choose image. Then I will choose copy. And that's important because that actually copies it as bitmap data to your clipboard. So now it's ready to be pasted. And again, I will context click choose get info upper left hand corner choose that icon and I'm going to go ahead and command V to paste in that icon 
and you can see just like that I've got that nice little icon uh, set up so three different options Snagit preview and Jing that you can use to get bitmap data onto your clipboard and then you can push that into any folder icon or drive icon that you'd like.